in Atlanta, the graffiti scene was was smaller than what, what you what we had in New York and, and LA and larger cities, but uh, we had something special, I think. The name Hints was something that I just developed when I was I think I was 14 or 15. I was looking for a, a cool name to write. I was into skateboarding. I was into graffiti. I wanted to associate myself with with things that were not mainstream, not like status quo. And I think that's where the whole uh, uh, attraction to graffiti came from. I remember going down to these legal walls and just the mystery behind it. I think was what was really intriguing. It's like I didn't know, I didn't know what you know where they were from. I didn't know how old they were. I didn't know if it was a male or a female, and that was really captivating. And it was also rebellious. Because I got my start in graffiti, which is in the public realm, it was a natural thing for me to want to continue into a, a, a realm of, of public art. We just left Midtown West, and we're going to be headed over towards uh, Piedmont Park. And I've got a mural on a wall on the belt line that we're headed to. This is a, a wall that was commissioned by the Atlanta Belt Line uh, in 2014. One thing you learn through graffiti is that you need to be clean, and as soon as I could get that out of my head, I feel like that actually like, you know, gave me the ability to move into a different realm with my work. And this is just an example of you know, using brushes as opposed to spray cans and, and um, kind of treating it like I would treat a canvas in my studio, but, but just in a public setting and, and on a bigger scale. You know, what I got from graffiti was a, <laughs> that was like the inner rebellious kid that was wanting this notoriety in a different way. And what I do now is more, um, it, it's just a different feeling of, of, you know, satisfaction. My Atlanta is home.